Greetings my YouTube friends. I'm back after being oh, laid up for um, for quite some time now and it's really good to be home and um, actually playing with my Aqua Giramondo. When it arrived um, I didn't really have time to set it up and then um, I had to go into hospital and I've been yeah, out uh, in hospital for quite some time and, and so came home a couple of days ago and I've just been itching to get this set up um, and I do want to share it with you. So I just put a couple of charms on the side and found this, what did I, I actually found this in my jewellery box so really have no idea where it came from but because I have this beautiful Gilio fountain pen um, I thought the the fake pearl um, actually went quite well with it so um, so that's how I've set that up so let me just I'm just going to turn this around for you um, to show you uh, how I've set this up. So I've just got a, a photo in here, um, a couple of little things here because I don't really like to fill this uh, fill this up much. Um, I do have a little booklet here that um, I'm actually going to use for, um, it's just a kind of little health um, health guide um, so it will have my um, doctor's details it will have medications that I take and um, I do have a chronic um, illness so it's I've, I've discovered after you know a couple of emergency trips that it really is a pest not to have these things written down and um, so I've decided everything that I own is going to have a little something in it that will actually have the things that um, I'm currently um, taking and who my doctors are because it certainly helps when you have your own doctor uh, which I didn't a couple of times and um, but this last time I did so it was very helpful so I've just made my own dashboard with a Bella Pilla card um, on the front and um, it's just made out of cardstock look this does have a, a couple of little um, little blingy things and so the laminating actually doesn't quite work because of the gap um, so I'm going to redo this at some stage but for the moment this will just have to do Okay, my first booklet, um, I did this, oh, I can't remember when I did this, just before, um, yeah, I, I need to work on, so I'm going to redo that because I really don't like it, but um, it was just something that I did, so I kind of felt, yeah, well, let's put it in there. I covered this first insert, which is a Midori 002. Uh, insert, probably my favourite insert. And I covered this with just some Heidi Swap paper. Um, love the colour with the aqua, it just tends to go. I love this, you know, it's springy now, and I love the yellow, I love the pink. Um, I'm usually not a pink person, so this is quite interesting, <coughs> but, um, but I quite like it. So, um, and this just has a little tag. Um, on the top. Uh, I haven't started this insert yet but what essentially this is going to be is um, uh, not really a daily journal because I use my Hobonichi for that but I actually want to record um, um, I, I want one booklet that just has my family in it so the things that they do the things that their successes their um, you know, conversations that we have and what we talk about 
I kind of want to document where they are all at right now. I've got um, three young 20-something year olds, um, three that have, well, two that have certainly gone through their university and, and are working, one who's still yet to find work, and the youngest one has just started her graduate degree. Um, so she'll be another four years away, but it occurred to me the other day when I was watching them <clears throat> how, how different they are now as young adults and how they interact differently and and if anything the last month has shown me how important my family are to me. So while we do things when they're young, I actually want to do this for my kids now that, you know, they haven't, they're, they're way, be, way before having children of their own. I, I want to record who we are as a family today. So this is going to be my family uh, insert. So photographs, um, um, I was printing out um, some photos and, you know, when we go out I'll take a photo and, you know, I want somewhere to put all my, all the photos that I take of my kids and things like that. So this is the back end of that um, dashboard so I just have some flags um, these are clear um, but you can write on them love them some sticky notes and these are my details on the back in case this gets disappears or something so that just has my address and um, phone number on the back um, that's just another quote the best way to get things done is to simply begin that's one of my, um, yeah, one of my, I'm a procrastinator, I have to say. I think about things so much beforehand, so I need this kind of quote to remind me that I just have to do things. The next insert, again, is Heidi Swap Paper, and um, these are my lists. Um, so sometimes I, I've started this, but... Um, so I've typed out a few things that I have. So these are reasons why I love to list. Best advice I was ever given. So I've just typed all those out. And then I'll be doing some artwork and putting ephemera, things like that. So these are my lists. Um, in the back half, um, I'm going to... Um, be involved in some photo challenges as well so I want a place for that so while the first half will be lists the second half will be photo challenges I don't do lists like pretty much everybody else does where you know just you do a list a day or whatever I pick the lists that kind of appeal to me um, and then yeah they're also the list that I think I want my kids to see later on and um, things that you know they'll find interesting to know about me so I'm particular probably about what lists I choose so that's my um, list and photo challenge the next one is um, an insert that I, I had um, I've had for, for a little while and it's really lots of art so what I do with this is just trace a design and then simply colour it. Um, so I've got some that design hasn't been finished. So I've been, oh, there's a blank page. So I've got some colouring um, images there that, yeah, I want to do. Um, love this paper, so um, that's what I'm going to do with that. So there's one that I've printed out. So I will just trace that onto there, which is quite easy to see, and then I can colour it. So that's essentially what I've been doing with that. In the middle, I actually have um, how to live in the now. So this is kind of a bit of a journal thing um, with some tips on how to how to take stock of where we are at any given time and, and appreciate the little things around us. So um, that's so I got that out of a magazine. I think it was Flow magazine. 
<coughs> I really liked it, so I just um, I just cut out the pictures and um, the the advice, and then thought that would be really lovely to reflect upon all of those things. Um, some meditation. I do practice meditation but in a particular way and there are many different ways to do meditation so um, and I also have been using some essential oils um, and burning candles and, and little things like that so I'm just going to have a bit of a play with that so that's that insert so it's my art come um, <laughs> anything kind of insert this is a Project Life plastic pocket thing that I've cut, kind of cut down so it's open here at the side and while I've got this stuffed full of bits and pieces um, I just put an ollie clip to kind of keep everything in there um, so there's some rub-ons there's vellum things there there's some tags there's um, words things like that then my last insert I'm not sure that I've quite decided what I'm doing with this one yet um, I just put it in there but I don't think I have decided what I'm going to use this one for I was tempted to have a health journal and document my uh, my health journey because it certainly has been a roller coaster over the last couple of months and it would be really good to I think to do it well I have a nutritionist um, you know when I get back to exercising um, little things like that uh, when I go and see the doctor to actually document you know what that conversation was about any tests that I have to have because I'm forever having tests and um, so I don't know I'm tempted because while I do use, let me just grab this and show you, I actually do have this as my health planner. Um, so, you know, this has um, um, doctor's cards and it's my dentist, it's my nutritionist, it's my specialist, it's my general practitioner, it's... Uh, my psychologist, it's um, everybody um, and I oh, it's got my birthdays at the front um, I was actually using this and so that's my medication chart that I've been using but this stays at home it only ever goes with me when I'm going to an appointment and I don't know that I want anything this big um, you know this could probably stay at home so um, you know I track my what I eat um, when I work out things like that um, so while this, this is good um, and in the back I think I've got you know charts and bills and all sorts of things it's it's just not something I have with me all the time and I think I want something that's a little bit more accessible um, so not sure but I may use this as opposed to that so but we'll, we will see and then this is just the second uh, the other side of that plastic pocket because I don't have any Midori ones and um, I've got to put an order in and yeah I haven't quite done that yet so but that'll be a few few days coming so I just wanted to put some project life cards in there and so that is my aqua Duramondo, which is a bit more um, it's a bit more fun stuff it's a bit more arty stuff um, whereas this holds my diary uh, my bullet journal um, you know and, and and a notebook for sort of random anything um, this has a different purpose so yeah so there you have it that is my aqua Mondo, and I do have to show you this this is to die for this is absolutely to die for this has to be 
the best fountain pen that um, I own. I'm not usually a medium nib person, but I actually don't find this too bad. I think because the body of the pen itself is quite a thin body, sometimes I find it difficult to use fountain pens that are really, really thick. Um, this holds beautifully in my hand, so I'm absolutely in love, I have to say, with this fountain pen. Um, I would definitely buy a second and a third Julio fountain pen because I just adore them. So there you have it. And I just use a, I just use a, um, oh, you know what I'm talking about, um, a bulldog clip to actually hold that in. So there you have it. My Aqua Giramondo, which is absolutely soft and squishy and I just want to hold it and it's just yummy. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.